Hi, my name is Tom Hennifer, and I'm the Executive Director at Canadian Journalists for Free Expression, uh, better known as CJFE. Uh, and we are an organization that fights for free expression rights, press freedom, uh, digital rights, and privacy rights uh, in Canada and abroad. Uh, I'm making this video to come out in opposition uh, to Bill C-51, which is our government's new uh, cyber surveillance and anti-terrorism bill. Um, it is, I believe, the single greatest threat to free expression in Canada at the moment. Uh, it is a, uh, an extremely dangerous bill. It's been called uh, by Edward Snowden at an event that we had um, a few weeks ago. He labeled it the Canadian Patriot Act, and I think that, that that's a very apt description. Um, what this bill does is it basically expands the cyber surveillance regime. Uh, it gives our uh, spy agencies, uh, CSIS and CSE, um, broad new powers. Uh, largely, it's believed they were already kind of conducting some of these operations that this bill gives them permission to do, um, which wouldn't have been legal in the past, but this bill will make them legal. Um, and this comes at the same time where in the United States there's now a movement to have the Patriot Act dismantled, uh, and that's because it was so obstructive to civil rights. It created such a chill and free expression. Um, it uh, unjustly put so many people in jail. And because uh, it simply didn't work. Uh, it, it's been found that uh, the Patriot Act, the, the cyber surveillance, the mass collection of data and metadata has basically stopped no terrorist attacks ever. Um, what does stop terrorist attacks is traditional policing methods, which are already in place. And I know that in a, in a, in a time in Canada where there is this climate of fear, it seems very tempting to trade uh, our freedoms for security. But we're simply, it's been proven that these tactics don't work. So we're trading our freedoms for the illusion of security. And worse than that, we're doing it in, a, in an ineffective way um, because there is next to no judicial oversight for these sweeping new powers that would allow these agencies to spy on us um, and to interfere uh, with the actions of, uh, of Canadians um, and, and to do so, you know, things like taking down websites, interfering with protests. It's possible that protesters could be targeted by this, legitimate protesters, because uh, the, the legislation is worded in such an overbroad way that basically anything that could be a threat to Canada's economy or to Canadian infrastructure, so uh, any protest could be a threat to an economy, especially if you have something like uh, something like the G20 protest in Toronto certainly would have been a you know a, a threat to Canadian to the Canadian economy. Uh, something like a protest against a pipeline or a major development project could potentially be seen as a threat to infrastructure. It's it's a problem because we don't know we don't know whether these agencies will be able to go after after protesters, after journalists, uh, after activists who would who would write you know pen and op-ed or something like that in a newspaper. It's and but the biggest problem is that when these things are overbroad, this legislation, when it's overbroad, uh, and when there isn't that judicial or parliamentary oversight, and there is no real parliamentary oversight of these agencies, and, and the, uh, the, the councils that are supposed to be overseeing them have said again and again that they do not know, they cannot say, because they're so secretive, they cannot say whether CSIS and CSA, CSE are actually uh, operating within the bounds of the law, which is just a dangerous situation. In that, so when we have that overbroad legislation, when we have that lack of oversight, that's when abuse is just, it can become rampant. And worse, there's no recourse for Canadians uh, if abuse happens, when things are so secretive. It's an incredibly dangerous situation. Bill C-51 would allow these, allow our police and spy agencies to really run roughshod over uh, Canadians' rights, over the Charter um, uh, of Rights and Freedoms, and that is a, that is a it, it can be a real nightmare scenario for Canada. And Bill C-51 simply needs to be stopped.